Hello students, uh, today we are going to study physiology of cuff reflex. Now it is a vital defensive and protective reflex of body. It uh, protects the respiratory tract and uh, it is a cuff reflex that helps in removing irritants, excessive secretions from the lungs and it prevents the infection. Now cuff is initiated when respiratory tract is irritated by infection that is microbes, noxious or toxic fumes, dust particles and other foreign bodies. Now cuff is a vital reflex. It is essential for the healthy lungs. Now we all are aware of the process of breathing that is inhalation and exhalation. Now cuff reflex is characterized by sudden violent expulsion of air from the lungs at an amazingly high speed of about 100 miles per hour. Now this air at an amazingly high speed escapes out suddenly from the lungs and carries along with it excessive lung secretions, foreign materials, then uh, unwanted harmful substances, irritants, all are removed from the lungs. And thus uh, the cuff reflex is protective, it, uh, it protects the lungs. Uh, the cuff reflex is highly beneficial. But uh, repeated and severe cuffing is uh, physically exhausting. Now let's understand the physiology of cuff reflex. Cuff is initiated due to stimulation of airway uh, receptors present in the mucosa. Now these receptors are triggered or are stimulated by irritants. Now look at this diagram. This is the diagram of the respiratory airway. Uh, this diagram shows the structure of the wall of the respiratory tube. Now in the center is the lumen that is airway that is the passage for the air. Innermost lining of the respiratory tube uh, is made up of ciliated columnar epithelial uh, cells and this is termed as a mucosa. Now uh, these green color cells uh, are the goblet cells shown here in the green color. They are situated between the uh, columnar cells. Now these goblet cells and the submucosal glands produce mucus and mucus is uh, shown here in the green color and this mucus it uh, forms a covering sheet over the mucosa and it protects the innermost lining of uh, uh, the respiratory tubes that is the mucosa. Now in this mucosa are located uh, receptors. Uh, are, are located receptors that is the airway mucosal receptors and these receptors are uh, rapid adapting receptors that is RARs then uh, sensory C fibers that is the uh, pulmonary and bronchial C fibers then uh, sensory delta fibers then uh, slow adapting receptors that is SARs and cuff receptors. Now irritants or stimuli for example the dust particles these are inhaled and they pass along with the air and they reach the respiratory mucosa. And in the respiratory mucosa, these stimulants or irritants, they stimulate the airway mucosal receptors. Now these stimuli are mechanical, for example, smoke, uh, foreign bodies, dust, etc. Chemicals like uh, capsaicin, sulfur dioxide, bradykinin. And these stimuli can be inflammatory like uh, prostaglandin E2 and histamine. Thus these unwanted stimuli, they reach the mucosa and they activate the airway receptors. Now stimulation of these mucosal receptors stimulates the vagus nerve uh, that is the uh, afferent or sensory pathway. And these vagal nerve, they carry this information of the presence of irritants in the respiratory mucosa to the brain. Uh, there is stimulation of cuff center located in the nucleus tractus uh, solitarius that is NTS. Now this NTS is situated in the medulla and medulla as we all know is a part of the brain stem. Now so the cuff center is stimulated and this cuff center further stimulates phrenic nerve, uh, then uh, spinal motor nerves, laryngeal, uh, laryngeal nerves that is the efferent or motor pathway and thus uh, the impulses uh, that is the irritants are present in the respiratory mucosa is further carried to the respiratory muscles like the diaphragm 
intercostal muscles, laryngeal muscles, abdominal muscles and these muscles they cause sudden violent expulsion of air from the lungs at an amazingly high speed such that the irritants they are thrown away from the respiratory tract and this reflex is called as the cuff reflex. Now the process of cuffing or the cuff reflex is completed in three phases. The first phase is the inspiratory phase. Now, as already discussed, there is a stimulation of uh, uh, airway cuff receptors by the stimuli or irritants. Now, impulses carry to the uh, nucleus tractus solitarius. This is followed by deep inspiration and about 2.5 liters of air enters the lungs. Uh, and thus, uh, there is increase in the air pressure within the lungs. Now, second phase is followed by the compressive phase where air pressure within the lungs further builds up. Uh, due to the closure of glottis and this pressure compresses alveoli and the bronchi. So, uh, there is prompt or rapid closure of glottis uh, which further increases the pressure. Uh, the vocal cords they contract and they completely close the larynx. Further abdominal muscles contract with force and they push against the diaphragm. Uh, there is simultaneous forceful contraction of other muscles of uh, expiration and thus the pressure uh, within the lungs builds up and this intrapulmonary pressure within the lungs is very high. It is high to the extent that it causes compression of uh, alveoli and the bronchi. The third phase is a very important expiratory phase. Now the epiglottis they open suddenly and thus there is uh, explosive leakage of air from the lungs uh, which uh, removes the irritants from the respiratory mucosa. And uh, subsequently, there is continuation of uh, uh, exhalation and complete relaxation of the diaphragm. So, uh, this explains the physiology of cuff reflex. Uh, that is the explosive leakage of air from the lungs and removal of irritants from the respiratory mucosa. Now, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Uh, thanks for watching this video.